Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to Dance Curious. Okay, here we go with Normani's first quick step on Dancing with the Stars. Let's take a look. I know she's from Fifth Harmony. She's, I'm certain, has done dancing before. <laughs> oh, she's gonna have a good time with the Latin, that's for sure. Nice. Mm-hmm. Good. I'll pause it just for a second to say that her lines overall are very impressive. Um, for first week, she did her corte was just like a little bit off on the lines. Anyway, keep going. Mm -hmm. She's very, very smooth with her body. Obviously, a natural dancer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Pausing for a second. Frame is not bad. As you can see, they do not have much, if any, body connection. Again, this is the first week. She is very light on her feet, though. Not a bad pivot. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Pause here for a second. She does look a little heavy on his arms. Like it's probably he's holding her up a bit. Mm -hmm. Fun. She definitely knows how to be a showman, which is great. Mm -hmm. This is very good for our first week, which doesn't surprise me based upon, first of all, the fact that you guys recommended her to me. So I was expecting her to be kind of the more of the cream of the crop as far as the seasons go. This is season 24, right? And, um, but also because again, she is in Fifth Harmony or was in Fifth Harmony and um, they do a lot of dancing as I understand it. So, but I'm curious to know if you all know what her, what her background is prior to Fifth Harmony in terms of from a dancing perspective. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting because she's obviously very fluid um, and Latin dancing is gonna be super easy for her. With the quick step, it's not perfect, but, um, but it's still very good for a first week. Anyway, continuing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Again, I'm kind of wondering if she's maybe does a lot of like salsa, even just like for fun, like in clubs. Um, maybe she just like does like hip hop or something and so she's really good at the body isolations but like her beginning her beginning um, kind of pose there and her starting move was very smooth and honestly felt like pretty salsa which is again interesting for a quick step but then it's kind of an interesting song for a quick step so it kind of brings out um, a bit of a curious flavor but overall there was a very fun performance to watch and a really good job for her first week for sure Okay, here we go with Normani's second Dancing with the Stars performance, which is going to be a cha-cha. I apologize in advance if the visual quality on this one isn't quite as good because they didn't have it on the Dancing with the Stars channel that I could find, and so I had to go to a secondary channel. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll try to record it in the highest HD I can, but just in case it's a little bumpy, sorry. <laughs> it's what I'm looking at too. Anyway, here we go. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, pausing it just for a split second. I'm gonna say, first of all, again, great body fluidity. Her posture for Latin is not quite right, but um, you can see she's almost like, she's almost exaggerating the curvature of your back. And you might do that for specific moves, but it's not actually how you want to move. But um, nevertheless, she's doing this sort of exaggerated sassy walk. So it kind of it kind of works anyway, but uh, just, just as a note because I kind of noticed that in the other one too. Anyway, keep it going. <laughs> yeah, very good around the world. Nice. Good. I'm gonna pause it for a second there. Has she done Latin because, like, or maybe is she um, even like, like growing up maybe, but because she's like, her Latin lines are so good. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Another kick. That's awesome. She's so limber. And I have to tell you guys, this is making me really happy just because the Latin dances, if you've never know done them before, are hard. And so in a lot of the performances I've watched so far, um, I wouldn't say that the Latin performances have been objectively like the greatest, but 
she is doing so well with it and it just makes my little my little dancer heart happy um <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good job with that nice in terms of on the critique side, I would say she's not getting her legs straight um, when she needs to. You kind of, there's the sense of like bending and then straightening and she's got the bending, but she doesn't have the straightening so much, which is common. Um, again, if you're doing kind of like club style salsa, sometimes you'll see a lot of people don't uh, fully straighten their legs in part because it's just a little bit easier not to, um, but then it doesn't look quite as quite as clean and quite as sharp and your lines don't look quite as good. But um, apart from that, again, like a little bit of throwing off at the posture and then just at a couple moments, like going in and out of frame, like a little bit of maybe uncertainty what to do with the arms. That was so smooth and clean and just the perfect Latin attitude. Very, very sexy. Um, very smooth and sensual and flirty and that's how a cha-cha should be. Really fun, really like that. Probably the best Latin, I don't know, I shouldn't speak too broadly, but, but probably the most like natural feeling Latin dance I've seen so far in any of the performances I have personally watched, which as you guys know is not all that many <laughs> just yet, but, but that was great. Okay, here we go with Normani's Foxtrot. Fantastic. Um, Start, she looks absolutely stunning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They really um, like that kick for her, and I will say it's great, but maybe you shouldn't do it in every dance, which I get that's not that Normani, just that's a more a note for Val. Maybe, you know, <laughs> mix it up. There are other things she can do that she's very limber that would be useful. That um, Anyway, just for more variety. But um, but I am really liking it so far. Mm -hmm. Good, those are pretty good pivots. Uh, the ronde didn't quite work out. Nice. That was a good line. <laughs> That's really fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nice, good. That was that was me enjoying it, not laughing at it. That's great. I'm enjoying the the way they're playing with this. This is a very foxtrot kind of song, foxtrot kind of feel. They even got that throwback kind of thing. But specifically with foxtrot, it's fun because it has this flirty kind of sensual thing. And so they're sort of playing on the on the line with that. Um, I have noticed just a little bit, maybe a little sloppiness with the feet, just like once or twice you let the toes turn just in slightly and then the smooth dance is supposed to be parallel, um, but it, it's looking lovely. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. That's awesome. She is owning this. This is great. Wow, that was a fantastic performance. I really, really enjoyed that, guys. That was great. Um, and also kudos to Val because it's his choreography. And apart from my complaint about seeing the kick a few too many times, um, I guess you could say it's her signature move, but I like variety. But this whole, the whole presentation, the whole story of it, um, and um, then as far as like Normani is concerned, she did a great job with that. Like. Again, they're just, just moments where her posture could be tweaked just a bit. Not, not in the sense that she's hunching it. I'm actually talking about, um, I want her to like lengthen her back a little bit. Some of those moments were fantastic. She completely commanded the stage. Um, she's a beautiful natural dancer and it had all the right kind of feel. And that was really great. I really enjoyed that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you, all of your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. It's really fun doing this with you, and also it's really fun to watch the channel uh, continuing to grow. Please make sure to put your suggestions for anything you'd like me to react to in the comments below. Uh, like I said in another video, I'm going to be making my list of like my plan of attack for when to film things, when to edit things, when to post them. So go ahead and make those comments, get those votes and opinions in. 
I don't 100% go exactly based on which things had the most votes in part because I'm like trying to mix things up and kind of vary what I'm posting when, but when things do have more votes and more comments, I do put those higher in the queue because uh, I want to make more of you happy. So uh, with that in mind, make sure to comment or like the comments that other people have made. You know, either way, just, just let me know what it is that you're most excited about seeing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.